We are here in Washington, D.C., home of the D.C. Destroyers at the legendary Headbangers Boxing Gym. Let's see what that Headbanger workout is talking about today. Being at the Headbangers Boxing Gym, and I'm I'm kind of excited. You know, I'm kind of excited to see you know what they got for me today. And as you see, you can see everybody is just a family. That's kind of what I what I noticed. Everybody just a family. You know, they talking, laughing, playing with each other before the before the hard workout. And that's one thing about the DC Destroyers. I feel like they're one of the one, they're one of the teams that they fight with the same exact people they usually train with. So that's great, man. That's great. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what they got for me. That's the thing. Team Combat League has been good for all fighters. You know, whether if you're late in your career, early in your career, all the way around, you know, it's been great for all fighters. Right. Hey, she, you turned pro with the league, right? Did you turn mm -hmm. pro with the league? Yeah, I turned pro with the league. Why did you feel like that was a, that was a good idea? I mean, uh, for me, it was just more so, one, my team was already yeah, on there, and two, yeah, yeah. Um, just getting that experience without the head gear, it pretty much, that was pretty much my whole thing, making sure I got the experience without the head gear, because I never fought without head gear. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's different. I ain't even gonna lie. It's different. Different. Hey, Kadeem. Yeah. Come here, let me see that, Kadeem. J5. That is so funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> Blank man <laughs> in his earlier stages. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's, what you, that's what you said. A lot of these fathers, they grew up in the gym. Yeah, a lot of them did, they man. Grew up in the gym. Most of his father. Was you? What's his father, the which is Eric the Outlaw Hunter. There's no way. Was it's just turned no 17 fun. when he qualified for the Olympic that's trials. Back then, you could do that. that is Kadeem wasn't even, you know, Kadeem was nowhere near That's being born crazy. at that time. So a lot of them, either they were born in here, their parents, you know, things of that nature. Sir, so, yeah. Sir, you want me in there shot about Who, me? You shot about it first? Not today. Oh, okay. What you got for me? You ready? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Don't give him room to, to do that because yeah. that's what he want to do. He want to boom, yeah. boom, press him out. Boom, boom, boom. That's all he does. Yeah, all oh, he got his left hook. Yeah. Take away the left hook. Take away that. He, he yeah. Why do you feel like it's a good idea to you know, come to see the early on in your career? Um, it was the experience. One, it's a great experience to jump start my career. First, there's a lot of people watching, so you know, saying so get that exposure. Second, you get that experience going around with pros that actually been in there. You getting comfortable. It's like it's like practice, but it's the real game. So you got to be on your stuff. Um, I'm just comfortable in there. Every, more and more, I get in there every time I fight. I get more and more comfortable as a pro. Taking off the head gear, the gloves, that thing is different. So I'm getting comfortable. So now when I go back to my regular pro fight, I'll be more comfortable. But I, I love it. I love it. I've been boxing, been doing it from, from a kid. I'm from Barbados. I was an Olympic team. So I came here in 2014 to start my pro career. I got like 17 fights in. I fought on TV, Showtime, all that. 
But um, what I do is, when I'm a veteran in the game, I try to pet, teach my knowledge to the, the, the next upcoming. Yeah. So like we find this team called Mike Lee, you know who I'm fighting, I know who I'm fighting. We both for the same people. So it was like giving them keys and tell them this is what to do, this is not what to do, and I can press them out. Because there's one or two rounds, just, just you don't got much time, you just gotta go figure it out. And um, what I do is just get everybody game and all of us stay focused, stay locked in. Let's go and get the double. Yes, yeah. Here at the DC Headbangers Gym, everybody's independent. Everybody's locked in, focused by themselves. And I think that goes to just how long Barry has been working with these fighters. They come in, once that bell starts, they already know what to do. They lock in, they get it done. That's the warm up. I think we did about seven, eight rounds shadow boxing. Look like everybody about to get gear up, get their sparring equipment on, and we go see why the headbangers is called the headbangers. Let's go. What's up, baby? I got gloves. You look pretty good, man. Oh, we need a 135. That's what I heard you saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got to work something out. Yeah, man. We're going to have to do something. So I have gloves. I don't have. This is DC Destroyer's new 135. <laughs> Get ready for them. It'll get me right. Yeah, you I need got, some gloves? I got the gloves. I don't have um, cup and head gear. Cup, head gear. Uh, you can go juice, to juice, juice, juice missing. Where is juice at? Juice right here. Yeah. What you think about the, uh, the team combat league? Right. They winning? That's the main thing, winning. That's the most important. See, yeah, right here. They got some one of the best, some of the best 135 pounders in the league. Same thing like I said with Atlanta. And now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like in the entire league, the 135 pounders are some of the most stacked divisions. So you definitely can see a lot of action-packed fights in the 135 division, but right now, same thing as Atlanta. We about to get in there with some of their 135 pounders. When's the last time you sparred? Uh, I fought Atlanta. Oh, okay. Yeah, I fought Atlanta in 2011, but the uh, name is probably been like uh, five, six months, so I'm getting back, back into the groove of it. How many rounds you want? I'm still going to like I'm, 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 I'm one of the DC Detroit today. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I don't know what you want to get in going there. You were going there with... Uh, <laughs> The chaos, chaos. Oh, yes, sir. See, he a dog, man. Oh, good so cut down. Now, when he come with it, answer. Put him on the end of your jab. Oh, you a rough dude now. That's how they learn everybody. Everybody, everybody in here is like the top guy. Yeah. Like, of course, you know, you got your, you got your team captains, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You, you got that? YG, that boy a dog, that boy a dog. <laughs> then you got Q, that boy a dog. Yeah. You got Scooter, Day Day. And like, every, everybody in here really like walking legends for real. Like, yeah. everybody is like either legends in the making or they already done it. And right. they, you know, one they of the best. God damn, that's some good work right there. Y'all say, hey, that's good work there, baby. I like that. That fool? How many you do? You got one more. One more? Y'all two got one more, that's it. Come on, get in, don't you get out of this. Go ahead, do the most. Champion Sulemar, still in the amateurs. When he go pro, it's gonna be a problem. We got the headbangers out today. 
is realizing his fight right now. Behind your jab, son. I thought you was going to get in there. Just kind of do a demonstration. Yeah. Like, you know, but when I seen you working, I said, oh, damn, that's got good skills. Hey, you, there, hey, you, yeah, you in there with some of the best in the world, man. Good work, man. I'm going to DC the story today. Okay, that's Everything right. Everything y'all right. do, we come do. Oh, man, good, good action, man. Good action. Stay behind with the jab. We get inside, work inside. Don't pull straight back, and okay. definitely don't pull back with your hands down. Yes, sir. Step left, step right. Go under and out. Keep them up, though. Yes. Good job. Thank you, coach. Get yours now. DC destroys. We're going to win it all. Now, if y'all don't know about Patrice Harris, a.k.a. Boogie, yeah. as seen on Creed, yeah. as seen all down your explore page, yeah. legendary, yeah. world-class mitt work, Known across the world. I saw your Instagram. Hey, I already know the combination. Okay, okay. I know it already, coach. Go, baby. Let's get it then. Let's get it. You ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to lock it in. 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 About this gym. What can you say? Being honest, being honest. What's different about this gym? That's it. What I feel like the most different is Barry Hunter has a team that's experienced enough to be in the ring and know what to do without the coach being right there with him. We here at the world renowned headmakers got the instructions for Barry Hunter with Trees Harris. And we out. TCL, DC Destroyers, we coming. You've been telling me they're gonna flip the script yes, just sir. that fast. They own it. Yeah. You ain't got to say much. Nah. And I noticed, you don't yell. Nah. You don't got to yell. That's years of that. Mm -hmm. Why so many world champions come out of here? It's why so many world champions come here to work, to spar, to get that working overall. I'm not playing. No, they're not playing. They train hard. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's every day. That's it. That's and you're a pen, being a father, Looking on the outside, looking in. I got your opinion from your son already, but why did you feel like the combat league was a good place to start his career? Because the first thing is taking the head you off. So what better way to be prepared for a professional fight than team combat league? Yeah. yeah. How many? How many? Hundred. Hundred it off? Yeah. I think every workout serious, every workout does something. Yeah. It brings something extra to your game. Yeah. I don't care. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Keep it going, man. A hundred. Let's do it, baby. Man down. How many put them on? A hundred. A Let's go. Hurry it up. I ain't come on letting y'all commit me to do this no more. I'm looking around, looking around. If y'all scared to go up there and win, please get out the gym now. We're not going up there to play around. We're not going up there to be nice. We're not going up there to dap none of them up. We, they are our enemy. This is war. This ain't no field trip. Thank you. 
We going, going up there. Vacation. Let's go. We mom going up there mobbed up. We going to go wreck some stuff. And we going to go home and go party. We ain't trying to play around. We ain't trying to be nice, shake hands. No. We got business to attend to. And then we going to go celebrate when we get home. Let's be the ones that make history. Yes, sir. All, All right, well, with, with that said, I'm going to uh, say it this way. Forget what we did getting there. We here now. It don't matter how we got there, how we, we are here now. And like Mikey said to his point, if this thing keeps going like I hope and pray that it does, and I think it will, you're going to have other championships, you're going to have other playoffs. But it can only be one first. Only one. Yes, you feel me? And that's the most special one. This is the maiden voice. You feel me? Now, we done battled injury, which nobody knew. You know what I mean? A whole lot of stuff was going on, nobody knew it wasn't their business to know. You feel me? But we here. All right? So let's finish this thing, man. You feel me? Now, to school this point, if you scared, if you had pain, if you got gunshot, or whatever the case may be, just let us know we're not mad at you, but you cannot go on this journey with us, bro. We're going to war. You feel me? We not, I don't want to hear my knuckles or my eye, my ass hurt. None of that. You feel me? We gotta go to work, man. You feel me? Because each man in here depend on the other man next to him. You feel me? If you lose or if you turn around in the old fight, yes. Now you affect the whole team. Not just one person, y'all. Mm -hmm. This is what it's all about. So, way I figure, let's keep going the way we've been going, man. We are here. Yeah. Let's finish this thing, bro. Right? Yes, Anything short of that championship is a loss oh, to me. Yes. Even if you lose last, you just the last That's person to lose. lose. You know what I mean? A loss is a loss, bro. And I'm not trying to have nobody partying on. We gonna claim that ground. That's our floor. So we'll claim that we need that, all right? Yeah. Let's finish this thing. Put it in, man. We train in Mexico like it's DC, baby. On three, on three. One, two, three, DC! Let's go, man. I'm about to get it going. The DC Destroyers are locked in. Catch them in the playoffs. Versus the New York attack. If they get through the semifinals, they're going straight to the Mega Bronx. Let's go.